Hi, Andrew Glazer here from GlazerTutoring.com, and today I would like to teach you how to balance hydrogen plus oxygen yields water. So the first step in any balancing equation, locate the yield sign, just draw a vertical line that'll help us differentiate then the left-hand side from the right-hand side. The next step is then to place in these little lines, and that will represent the location of the coefficients that we're going to be able to plug in to balance this. All right, so first thing is, let's start then with the hydrogen atom. The subscripts will always tell us then how many atoms of each element we have. So on the left-hand side, we have two hydrogens. And on the right-hand side, then, we also have two hydrogens, okay? That two goes with the hydrogen, not to the oxygen. So hydrogen's balanced, so you don't have to worry. Next step then is to look at the oxygen. Now on the left-hand side, we have two oxygens. However, on the right-hand side over here, we only have one. Remember, if there's not a subscript down there, it is assumed to be one. So now there's a problem because the oxygen is not balanced. So if you have two on the left and you have only one on the right, we need to place in a coefficient of two here in order to balance it. Uh, basically, you take the coefficient and you multiply it then by the subscript to give the total number of atoms for that particular element. So two times one is gonna be simply two, and that means now I have two oxygens on the right, and I also have two oxygens on the left. But I messed up the hydrogen. Who cares? Just go back and check it and redo it. So you have two hydrogens on the left, and now you have four hydrogens on the right. And the way to balance that is to then place in a coefficient on the left-hand side of a two. Now you have four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right, two oxygens on the left, and two oxygens on the right. Thanks guys for watching.